In this presentation, we will talk about how wireless sensor networks are used for energy conservation. Take supermarket as an instance. When you are near frozen food area, you'd probably thought it's too chilly naturally, and some other areas kind of too warm. So we checked temperature distribution in the store using crossbows wireless sensor networks. What we found out there are frozen food area should reduce air conditioning. In the entrance area, air conditioners keep working at full capacity all the time. And hot food area should control air heating in winter. Well, it sounds trivial, but you never had a proof where energy savings can be done instantly. What's needed is a coordinated real-time controls of refrigerators, food heaters, air conditioning, lighting, etc saving money, the energy cost, and CO2. There are numerous energy consultants, so the technology is there, but the data is needed. Japan, having no natural resources, has been energy conscious traditionally. This Japanese supermarket uses crossbows while sensor networks Neomote in its chain of over 200 stores. Each store uses about 100 nodes, measuring temperature, lighting, electric consumptions in microclimate, and controlling air cones and fridges as well. The system operating since early 2008 has proven to save electricity as much as 30%. Here's a schematic. Electricity from small breaker panels, air temperatures at various customer locations, fridge temperatures, lighting conditions are sensed at an interval and wirelessly reported to the store server. The store server through internet sends the data to central energy saving server. The energy saving server sends back a command tuned to that store so that each aircon, fridge and lighting in the store is controlled to the best and wasteful values. But why do we do this wirelessly? Well, stores actually change the showcase layout very often, although as a consumer you may not have noticed. The wiring cost is saved by having the wireless systems there. So let's see if there's any problems in adopting the system in the US. Energy monitoring requiring cable installation is solved because it's wireless. Layout change cost is solved because it's wireless. Protocol interfacing is flexible to adapt to the existing system. Connectivity is good because it has gone through numerous different cases in the Japanese supermarkets. Systems workability has already been proven and it's FCC certified. So there's nothing holding you off from saving money with this system. Neomode is a product made by collaboration of Crossbow Technology in San Jose, California and Sumitomo Precision in Japan. A trial kit looks like this. It has two temperature humidity light sensor nodes, one RTD sensor probe to check fridge temperature. It has one voltage node to sense any DC voltage from a sensor of your choice, two RTD temperature probes, the base station The base station connects to a miniature server that can be connected to Ethernet or Internet and even a maintenance node to see wireless communication conditions is included. This instantly gives you a reliable multi-hopping ad hoc wireless communication system, a ubiquitous system that will save money for you and reduce CO2. Crossbow technology contact info at xbow.jp. Do not hesitate.